Wicked Aluminum, probably the most baller, crazy Lamborghini of Raspberry Pi cases ever. Let's go ahead and unbox this and put this thing to the test. Doesn't meet all the hype. This is my Wicked Aluminum case for my Raspberry Pi 3B. This is a Raspberry Pi 3B Plus, and these are two brand new Wicked Aluminum cases for the Raspberry Pi B Plus. One is the secure, and one is the unsecured. Let's open these bad boys. This Pi right here, I custom engraved, Drew Talks 247, uh, has been my workhorse Pi forever. Uh, it's just, these cases is so beefy that I never open it up. This is just my, my Pi that sits on my table whenever I test images, almost 90% of the time we're using this Pi right here with this case, if it's a Raspberry Pi 3. Now, lately I've been doing reviews on the 3 Plus, and I've just been using either the Kantaru case or the new Nest Pi case, but now I've been given these. That's crazy. And you get that heat thermal heat sink compound. Would you look at that? So it comes with heat sink, it comes with four screws. You have um, the heat sink that goes on the processor GPU, a heat sink that goes on the network card. You even have a, 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 um, a big thick piece of aluminum that goes on the physical RAM. And unlike the Flirt case, this is a solid piece of aluminum. It is ridiculous the amount of cooling you're gonna get with this particular case. Now, this is kind of the Lamborghini of cases. It's ridiculous, it definitely is more expensive than the other ones, but you are getting a work of art. As you see, you can see the CNC marks in the actual case, it's beautiful. You can still access the um, ACT and power light. Um, it looks like some of them come pre-labeled. You can see the early edition, they did engrave a pie into it. It's now just a solid brushed look, which is just gorgeous in my mind. These do come with five year warranties. And one of the gripes that people say about this is you do get reduced Bluetooth and Wi-Fi uh, performance because you're sticking your pie in an aluminum case. So therefore the signals are not gonna be able to go as far. But if you're paying the kind of money you're paying for this case, go out and buy a $5 dong Bluetooth dongle and a $5 Wi-Fi dongle and just have them as the USB ports, problem solved. Especially if you're paying this kind of money, you can pay a couple extra bucks for those, those things. I'm gonna be using the, um, the unsecured version. The unsecured version has a spot there for your micro. The secure version does not have a spot there on the back, as you see. So basically, once you put the micro SD in and you close it up, you don't have a, a slot for your micro SD there. Where the uh, this one right here, you still can access your micro SD card, similar to the one I have here. I mean, you can see how many times I've opened, <laughs> I've taken it out of there. Um, it is wall mountable, you can wall mount it, and it does have that piece of foam in there to make a nice tight fit. It does not move a single centimeter in there. So, to get started, I'm gonna go ahead and use some heat sink paste. You don't want too much, but this should spread once the once it hits. For this, you got the micro SD card slot out the back, so it's just gonna sit in there just like that. You're gonna see that the ports all line up here, like that. Okay, and then we're gonna just go ahead and stick this on the top. All right, and that's on there. Next we get our screws. Those drop in, they are flush once they're screwed in. And then last thing is just to put on the, I like to put them on a little bit inward so they don't stick out. If you stick them on the, on the complete corners, they're gonna stick off a little bit. You can see, whenever I made the original video, that's how long I've had this one. So there you go, now we have the uh, old Pi 3 and the brand new Pi 3 B Plus right here. And then uh, here's the inside. You got the RAM, oh, this goes on here. You got the RAM heat sink, you got the GPU and the network heat sink. Beautiful, beautiful, handcrafted, awesome stuff. I'm on Virtual Man's 128 gigabyte image clocked at 1.5 gigahertz on the brand new Raspberry Pi 3B Plus and I'm just installing the SysMark right now. It's really easy to do. I'm gonna put all this information in a Word document attached in the description. And then uh, as you see here, I installed it all. I checked out my, what my stock temps were. 
Now I'm running the SysMax to full load the CPU, and as you see, a couple second delay, and I'm going to do a quick reading on the on the uh, on the CPU and the GPU here. Extra 10 degrees hotter, just stock. Wow, wow, wow. Uh, C GPU 42.9. All right, let's um, let's run the test. Here we go. All right. Similar results, let's check out the temps. Wow, look at that. 61.8 and 59 degrees Celsius. It almost doubled. It almost doubled. That's ridiculous, guys. That is ridiculous. So no case versus a, uh, okay, it's dropping down now. Wow, that got hot fast. I'm now on the image and you can now see that I am overclocked with the system info. You can also see what the stock temps are. This is on a cold boot with the in the Wicked Aluminum case. And then I'm gonna load a PlayStation game, uh, Bloody Roar 2. And as you can see, I'm gonna go ahead and turn on the, fa the fast resolution enhanced, which should uh, really uh, work this uh, work this out a little bit. So let's go ahead and enjoy the gameplay. And then I'm gonna go ahead and switch off straight to the info to check the temps on this with the Wicked Aluminum case. So while I'm playing this game, I'm going to end out the video as well so we can just finish the video with the temps. So thanks guys for watching. Loving this case. Like I said, it's the Lamborghini of the cases. You know, it definitely performs. It's a solid piece of aluminum. It's a work of art. I really like it. I think for those people in the high end, you're going to like it. For those other people, I'm sure we're going to get a lot of comments that say, what, this price, that's loco. Well, like I said, it's not for everyone, but it's definitely baller.